Hi, welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here at Escape, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you are joining for the first time, go ahead, click the bell icon, subscribe, and stay with us. This is our Kickstart devotional guide to give you support in giving you a push start to spending your one hour alone time with God each and every day at your best sacrificial time we start out this devotional time with prayer father we thank you for taking us safely to another day we thank you for taking us through the day yesterday as we come into this new day we pray that you'll go before us and whatever plans we have written which you were not invited into we pray that you rewrite them rewrite them for us and we beg that your holy spirit will now guide us into all truth and light that are slated for us to get from this devotional. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Alright, so we start out with our memory text, which has been coming to us this week from Hebrews 12 and verse 2. And we are committing it to memory. We recite it on Friday. And it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God Hebrews 12 and verse 2 looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. May God help us to commit this to memory and to recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls, even our very own. Our Maranatha devotional kickstart reading comes to us from Maranatha, sorry, our kickstart devotional reading comes to us from Maranatha devotional guide and it is entitled, Families Will Be Reunited as we continue to look at the second coming of Christ. Families will be reunited. The key text, Jeremiah 31 and verse 16 reads, Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears, for the work shall be for thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy, and there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come to their own border the reading families will be reunited christ is coming with clouds and with great glory a multitude of shining angels will attend him he will come to raise the dead and to change the living saints from glory to glory he will he will come to honor those who have loved him and kept his commandments and to take them to himself. He has not forgotten them nor his promise. There will be as a relinking of the family chain. The day of God will reveal how much the world owes to godly mothers. When the judgment shall sit and the books shall be open, when the well done of the great judge pronounced, is pronounced and the crown of immortal joy and the crown of immortal glory is placed upon the brow of the victor, many, many will raise their crown in the sight of the assembled universe and pointing to their mother say she made me all i am through the grace of god her instruction her prayers have been blessed to my eternal salvation this from signs of the times with joy unutterable Parents see the crown, the robe, the harp given to their children. 
The days of hope and fear are ended. The seed sown with tears and prayers may have seemed to be sown in vain, but their harvest is reaped with joys at last. Their children have been redeemed. Oh, wonderful redemption, long talked of, long hoped for, contemplated with eager anticipation, but never fully understood. No, it all comes to life. To his faithful followers, Christ has been a daily companion and familiar friend. They have lived in close contact, communion with God. Upon them, the glory of the Lord has risen. In them, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ has been reflected. No, now they rejoice in the undimmed rays, undimmed rays of the brightness of the glory of the king in his majesty. They are prepared for the communion of heaven, for they have heaven in their hearts. This morning's devotional kickstart reading families will be reunited is another prophetic glimpse into the gathering in of the saints on that great day here we see that families will be reunited and there's a special mention that faithful mothers who are now investing the spiritual guidance to help their children to become men and women daughters and sons of god those mothers on that great day will share in the good words coming from their children to give thanks for having led them in the right path so they too could have inherited immortality and eternal bliss what a grand occasion it would be what a pleasing thing it will be for parents to hear even though we will be changed from mortal to immortality it is made clear that we will still be able to identify each other and clearly um, mothers that are faithful will share in a certain type of glorious experience as their children declare them the main reason for being led in the direction that would have led them to eternal life. We go now to our motivational hymn with this joyful thought in our hearts. And the hymn is number 598, What Ye Saints. We will do stanza four. Nations win, though proud and stately, Christ is kingdom hasteneth greatly. Earth her latest pangs is summoned. Shout ye saints, your Lord is coming. Lo, he comes, lo, Jesus comes, lo, he comes, he comes all glorious, Jesus comes to reign victorious, lo, he comes, yes, Jesus comes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reminder this morning that you will come to gather your saints in. We thank you also, Jesus, that mothers who are faithfully guiding their children now into the nurture and admonition of God can look forward to receiving special mention in the New Jerusalem. What a joyous thought to have in our hearts. Oh, I beg and pray that all mothers in the hearing of this prayer who are failing so to do will be pricked by your holy spirit and convinced that they need father to turn away from not guiding the children in the path of righteousness and start to do so i pray also for the mothers who have been working so tenaciously father with their children to guide them into righteousness and truth that you'll continue to lift up their hands and give them strength 
Support them, dear Jesus, in this journey so that their children may come and sup with you in the new Jerusalem. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptably in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good, but above all, please walk with